Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters. Today we are in Greensburg, Pennsylvania with an 8 truck show. Those 8 trucks are going to be Ash Fire Extinguishers driven by Kinsley Parks, Snow Problem driven by Joe Montgomery, High Voltage driven by Curtis Sparks, Utter Madness driven by Alice Montgomery, Dog Gone Crazy driven by Todd Yates, Outlaw Thunder driven by Trip Cassidy, Loud Pedal driven by Mike Maxwell, and Try Me, driven by Jack Schroeder. Trucks to watch out for here, as always, is going to be Trip Cassidy going into racing. He is our reigning champion and hasn't been beaten yet since he took that championship. So we'll see if he can continue that streak here today. And here we go, we're going to get set up. Out first is Alice Montgomery in utter madness as she lines up. It's the green and off she goes. This is a roundy round track. We're going to do one lap around. Good smooth turn there for her. Just almost misses that ramp. They're going to have to check that and make sure she didn't. Very good smooth turn there for her. That is a time of 16.760. That's actually a very good time. Right out of the gate. Next up, Curtis Sparks coming out in high voltage. That was a really high bar set just in front of him. Let's see what he can do up and over the cars. Here we go into the turn. Pushing wide. Looks like the truck's struggling to dig in. Just barely gets over the ramp. Much better on the second turn. Still pushes wide on the exit. Time is 17.071. Not enough to take the top spot away from Alice, but a good run anyways. Here we go. Kinsley Parks coming out in Ash Fire Extinguishers. Go off the line. Kind of sliding through the turn there instead of as smooth as we've seen the other trucks so far. A little bit different driving style. Looks like the truck doesn't want to turn in the second corner though, unfortunately. It's going to be a time of 17.375 for Kinsley, so it's just a little bit slower than we've seen so far. Next up, Todd Yates coming out in doggone crazy. We haven't seen a whole lot of this truck yet. Very good leave there. Gets it turned right in very smooth. Beautiful control, just getting it up and over the car is nice and easy. Another very smooth turn up and over the line, 16301. I believe that is enough to take the lead away from Alice here. So we have a new leader. Next up, Joe Montgomery coming out in snow problem. The bar has just been raised right in front of him. What can he do to follow? A little bit of a power wheelie as he leaves the line there. Smooth turn, but not a lot of dig out. Another very smooth turn. The truck's just not really digging out of the corner. It's a time of 17.056, so it is not enough to take the lead. Next up, Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal. This truck is fast everywhere he goes. See what he can do here. Very, very nice. Gets it set up and turned right into the first corner there. Kind of hopping around as he gets it going. Very smooth turn. 16.320. A great run there for Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal. Next up, Try Me, driven by Jack Schroeder. Another very fast truck here on the circuit. Get it turned, kind of pushes wide, doesn't, just kind of struggles to get it out of the corner. Looks like the truck didn't want to turn in. Again, kind of the same problem there, but not as bad as the first turn. It's still a good lap there, 16.927 for Jack in Try Me. Next up, Trip Casty and Outlaw Thunder. This will be our last truck out here in racing. Can he maintain his unbeaten streak? Very smooth, sliding through the turn. Great momentum, gets it pitched right in as he lands. Wide turns, but smooth and fast. What's the time gonna be? 16.037, that will be the fastest time of the day there for Trip Cassie, so he will maintain his unbeaten streak since finals. Our final results in racing are Outlaw Thunder with a 16.037, Dog Gone Crazy with a 16.301, Loud Pedal with a 16.320, Curtis Sparks with a 16.320, Alice Montgomery with a 16.320, Joe Montgomery with a 16.320, Alice Montgomery with a 16.320, Alice Montgomery with a 16.320, Alice Montgom
Utter Madness with a 16.760. Try Me with a 16.927. Snow Problem with a 17.056. High Voltage with a 17.071. And then Ash Fire Extinguishers with a 17.375. Now let's head right into our freestyle competition here today. Our freestyle order is going to be Ash Fire Extinguishers followed by Snow Problem. Then we're going to see to see High Voltage, followed by Utter Madness. Then it'll be Dog Gone Crazy, followed by Outlaw Thunder. And then to wrap up the show, we will see Try Me, followed by Loud Pedal. Anyone at this show can come out and throw down a great run. There are a couple big ones to watch. Loud Pedal and Try Me being the particular ones to watch here in freestyle. Anyway, here we go out first. Kinsley Parks and Ash Fire Extinguishers. Let's see what she can do. Looks like she's going right for the car stack here. Beautiful Sky Wheelie to start off the show. That was absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what else she can do to follow that up. That was a big bar early. Right for a little bit of a jump there off of the ramp. It was very, very smooth. Going to go up the racing lane there. Good air. Kind of looking for the next hit, getting the truck turned around. So we're going to go for the van stack. Up and over. Nicely done. Goes for the slap with it, but doesn't get it. Unfortunately for hers, looks like we're going to get some donuts here early. Very, very well done. Great donuts here by Kinsley. Pulls right out of it, dips in the water a little bit, right back to the racing lane stack. Nicely done, great control to keep the truck there going. 30 seconds remaining in the run, what else is she going to give us? The back side of this racing lane, very nice sky wheelie. There's the slap wheelie she wanted, nicely done. Gets whipped right back around. Cautiously approaches the van stack there. Beautifully done, though. Well navigated. And here we go to end the run. Looks like she's going to try to get some more donuts in, but she's going to catch the dirt there. Smacks the car. Score 23. Congratulations to Kinsley there for, I believe that is the first time she has filled the clock since she's joined our tour. Next up, Joe Montgomery coming out in Snow Problem. Has been a bit of an underdog in freestyle, but does perform relatively well. Good air there off the racing lane into a slap wheelie. Beautifully done. Going to turn it around, look for his next hit. Looks like he's headed right for the back of this racing lane. Nicely done. Smooth down the backside. Turns it right back around. Looks like he's going to go right for this, this ramp here. Kind of rolling around looking for the next hit now. Looks like that's going to be the racing lane. Full throttle over the racing lane. Nice air. I'm turn it right around and line it up. Nice hit into a fantastic slap wheelie. 30 seconds remaining here for Joe Montgomery. Goes around the van and flips it right back around. Wants to go up and over. Kind of slow rolls it, but nicely done. There's about 10 seconds remaining in the run. How many more hits are we going to see? There's a nice hit the other direction on the van stack. So it turned right around. Looks like that's the end of time, but huge jump into the water. Beautifully done by Joe. I don't know if that's going to affect the scoring because that does come just after time ended. But what a fantastic run here for Joe Montgomery with a score of 23 as well. Two great runs so far, and the bar's been set pretty high. Let's see if Curtis can come out and do anything more spectacular. Roll around, get set up for his first hit. Wants to do something a little bit different. Saw 
Two trucks do the same first hit. Here we go, right off the ramp. Goes right for the slap wheelie, and it is a big one to start. Beautifully done. Turns it right back around, going right to the racing lane. Huge sky wheelie into another fantastic slap wheelie up onto the tailgate. Every opportunity he gets, he's standing this truck straight up. Beautiful hit over the van stack there. Looks like he's going to look for his next hit. Is it going to be racing lane? It is good air off the racing lane. And here we go, turning right back around again. Going to hit the other racing lane in huge air there. Gets a little bit of a bounce on the landing, so he couldn't get his signature slap wheelie that he's been doing. But here we go over the van, the other van stack. Nicely done, huge sky wheelie up and over into a freaking fantastic. Slap wheelie, 20 seconds remaining in the run. Looks like he's going to try and get into some donuts and the diffs open up and over he goes. Score a 22 for Curtis, unfortunately ends early as the donuts bite him. Here we go, Alice Montgomery coming out in utter madness. Just had one of her best showings in racing. Let's see if she's going to be hyped up coming out here for freestyle. Goes right for the racing lane, gets a good sky wheelie there. She's going to turn it right back around. Going for the back side of the other lane. There's the Sky Wheelie. Gorgeous. Sky Wheelie into a beautiful slap wheelie. Brings all fours off the ground as it hits that bar on the back of the chassis there. That was huge. Good air off the racing lane. These are some of the biggest moves I've seen from Alice so far. Would love to see her continue this and continue to improve. Oh no, what's happening here? The truck has been shut off. I don't know if she's got an electrical issue or if somebody shut her off. Looks like they let her refire, so it must be an electrical issue going on with the truck somewhere. Hopefully her and Joe can get that fixed before their next outing and it doesn't affect her anymore here today. That's definitely going to slow the momentum down. 30 seconds remaining. Huge sky wheelie. But unfortunate for her that the truck shut off on her on a very good run. She sets it up. Doesn't quite get the slap wheelie she wanted out of it. Ten seconds remaining. Turning it right back around. Looks like we're headed for the racing lane. Good air. It's been a fantastic run so far. And here we go. One final hit. Doesn't quite get the slap wheelie again, but it was a great run regardless, even with the stall. Score a 19 here for Alice Montgomery. That stall really hurt her. Here we go. Todd Yates coming out. Doggone crazy. Setting up. Looks like he's setting up for big early. Hyping up the crowd as we get going. Nice Sky Willie up and over the van into a big slap Willie headed for the wall has to set it down. Not going to affect him and he goes right for the next stack. And here he goes. Off the racing lane. Big air kicks the nose down as he comes off. Truck's able to take it here into some donuts. Kind of hiking up that left front there. Not a lot of momentum in the donuts, but very, very nicely controlled as the truck was trying to hike up. Off the back side of the racing lane, good sky wheelie. Headed right for the van stack. Gets a little bit of a slap wheelie out of it, but he was at a weird angle and had the wheels turned, so didn't quite pull it up. Good air off the racing lane. See what's he going to do next. It's been a very good run so far. 30 seconds remaining. He's been great momentum. He's hit everything. Big air up and over the water feature and down the back side of the racing lane. Now that was absolutely gorgeous. One of the best wow moments we've seen so far. 10 seconds remaining. What's left for him to do? He's done just about everything. 
We go right to the van stack now. Big Air doesn't get a slap willy out of it as he planted his foot in it. A great run anyways. Time is up, but he is still going right to the van stack and a huge flip over the van essentially. That is a score of 30. I don't know if that last hit affected his score, but what a great run there for Todd Yates and Doggone Crazy. Now Trip Casty coming out in Outlaw Thunder with a huge bar set in front of him. He's really going to have to come out here and throw down if he wants to compete for the win here today in freestyle. Big air off the racing lane. We have some campers brought out now. Right into some donuts here for Trip. Nice donuts. Smooth, beautifully controlled, great momentum. Back side of the racing lane with a big sky wheelie again. Right now he's going for the van stack. Up and over. It's been a good, good run so far, hitting everything that he sees. He's going right for the campers now, it looks like. Let's see how this ends for him. Beautiful Sky Willie up and over, crushes both of the campers into a great slap wheelie. What a fantastic run. Kind of combos it up into the back of the racing lane there. Here we go, 30 seconds remain. He's going to hit the ramp over there. Hard on the pedal. Looks like he's headed for his next hit. He has something in mind the way he's moving across this track. Up and over the van. Nicely done. Inside of 10 seconds, what else is he going to do for us here today? Beautiful hit on the van stack. Turns it around. That is going to be time right there. He is going to park it up on the car. That is a score of 30 for Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. So we have a tie for the win here between Trip Cassidy and Todd Yates with still two trucks remaining. Next up, Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal coming out. A truck that is more than capable of throwing down a perfect 30. So can he match it? Sets himself up for the slap wheelie. Doesn't quite get it. Has to avoid the ramp there. Figured that would put him in a pickle, so he avoids it. Gonna turn it around, go for the other racing lane. Big air there. Using the throttle to turn that truck around. Noticed it didn't want to turn at first. Nice, nice hit over the van stack. But notice the truck didn't look like it wanted to turn, so he planted his foot in it and got it to rotate. Now it looks like we're going for the van stack over here. Big air up and over into a great slap wheelie. Nicely controlled, not too far over, not, not a shallow wheelie either. Very nice. Awkward landing on the side there. Huge air off that racing lane. Some of the biggest air we've seen off that ramp so far. This has been a fantastic run over to the campers. Slow rolls into it. It's going to roll him up and crush him. And there he goes. Oh, and now he's on fire. Looks like something has punctured the fuel tank. Unfortunate inning for him. That's a score of 25 as he is unable to fill the clock because of a big fireball. Hopefully he got out of that truck and is okay. Now we're seeing Jack Schroeder come out and try me. The other truck that has been on fire in this series. Hopefully he can avoid that same result here today. Off to a great start so far. A little bit of a slap will he there. Gets out of it though as he lines up for his next hit. Big sky will he up and over the van. Beautiful. Coming around for the racing lane. Huge air off of the racing lane. Whips it around and he's stopping. He's lining up for something on the throttle. Huge air. Tries to clear the pond. Doesn't quite make it. Digs that right front down into the dirt. I don't know if the truck survived that. Looks like we might have a little bit of wiggle in that right front wheel. And the right headlight has been knocked out of it. He does have issues with the front steering now. That right front tire is not doing what he wants it to do so he will be fighting that truck for the rest of this run it's been a great run there it goes up and oh no it's over lands on that right front and that is it for jack schroeder and try me with a score of 27 very unfortunate end for him
Our final results here today, though, are going to be Outlaw Thunder and Doggone Crazy taking the win with a 30. Try Me coming in third with a 27. Then you have Loud Pedal with a 25. Snow Problem with a 23. Ash Fire Extinguishers with a 23. High Voltage with a 22. And Utter Madness with a 19. This was a fantastic show, guys. I can't wait till next week. We're going to be at Stafford. I hope to see you there. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next week.